previously on Lost. Greetings, Ron Smalik. And Felonius the Wizard, we are previously on Lost Season 5. Which episodes are we doing? <laughs> uh, it's funny, like right as you said that, I looked at my notes and I have them numbered as 13, 11, 12. <laughs> I don't know why. We're actually watching 10, 11, 12, I believe. That, that's exactly. Because, well... It is a bit confusing because we get a lot of information, at least in the twelfth of them. Yeah, and and it's not all in numerical time order, so <laughs> no. Uh, so uh, yeah, we do have... we have anything out there from our beloved audience? Yeah, I I think that I'd want to comment on Baker Bell's comment about Amy and Paul. Uh, oh. And if we already discussed it, I, I forgot, but she, she had a theory that the reason that the hostels were killed Paul, I was trying to figure out why did they kill Paul last time? Right. Yeah. So, and she, she was saying she assumed that because Amy and Paul were outside of the boundary, broke the truce, they got, Paul got shot yeah. And then it all snowballed from there. So the orig- basically the original aggressors were the hostiles because they broke the truce. Yeah. Um, so, because I, for some reason, I was oh. trying to figure out why, like, that it was, the whole episode makes it seem like it's the Dharma's fault, but it's really the hostile's fault. Yeah, so. but it's not logical because later on in the truce, it seems to be that we are going to talk about everything before we um, start doing revenge stuff. Yeah, it's and uh, the second of all, why why didn't they shoot Amy? Yeah, I it, it I'm not sure. <laughs> it made so much <laughs> sense when I read Baker Bell's comment, but now I'm now I'm not thinking no. clearly, but. I did theorize that it's because maybe Amy's on a list and Paul wasn't. And yeah, but there you... wasn't no list. It was Dharma. No, oh, I think there were. I think that the hostels always have lists of, like Jacob always <laughs> wants lists of people that are. Yeah, but if you have a truce, you don't have no need of lists. Yeah, but even when even when they had truce with uh, our beach people, remember they still tried to steal the kids and the parents and. Well, they didn't have any real truce, but okay. I don't know. I, I just... It I was just... a one-sided one, because Tom said, don't cross this line, and the other says, we don't bother. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not totally sure if that was an agreement at all, yeah, yeah, to, yeah. To, to, to Frank. So do you, feel Frank. Like, do you feel like starting in these episodes? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, uh, a, a 12-year-old Ben Linus brought me a chicken salad sandwich. So how do you think <laughs> I feel? Yeah, exactly. Now, let's see. We should... Let's see what your Wikipedia has to say about number 10, mister. All right. So, He's Our You is the title. That obviously refers to the uh, <laughs> interrogator. The, tor- the torturer, yeah, right. Now, I th- I think I've said this at least once per season, but this whole torturing people thing to get info... I just think it's overdone in the series in general. But, okay, Wikipedia says, In 1977, Saeed does not cooperate with Sawyer and the members of the Dharma Initiative vote to execute him. A 12-year-old Ben frees Saeed in his effort to join the others. However, once they've escaped, Saeed shoots Ben. In the flashback, Mm -hmm. Saeed is caught by... Well, now that's not a flashback, but anyway... Saeed is caught by Alana, a bounty hunter who has been hired to take him to Guam. So I will say I pretty much completely forgot everything that happened in these three episodes (laughs) until I was watching them. And I had some really cheering, like, get up and cheer (laughs) moments. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, so, uh, me too. But not in one particular place. So that is uh, the 2007 actions uh, with Ilana. Yeah, I, yeah, that's still confusing. So in, in He's Are You, 
basically this is this is all about Saeed and whether or not he enjoys being a killer. Yeah, and how he got to the island. Because we didn't know how he got on the plane. Yeah, yeah. A Jira. Yeah, and it's basically Ilana is a bounty hunter getting him back for killing that golfing guy, the economist. Yeah. Basically. Um, which <laughs> obviously is not uh, true, though. She's She's got some oh no 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 maybe well okay so so there's something more to this which we'll talk about in later episodes yeah sorry uh but i still think that she has something to do with charles Widmore, both she and caesar but on the other hand <clears throat> yeah yeah caesar. <laughs> so so there's there's three things that stuck out in this episode to me so instead of going through the whole thing i'm gonna yeah. jump to those three and you can fill in the gaps so I think this episode really shows us that, again, that Juliet wants to stay in the 70s and just live live with Sawyer and not have that messed up by Jack and Kate coming back. Yeah, but there's no logic in that. Well, She's got I, a sister who has just been pregnant and have had a baby after she's had cancer. But in this timeline, would, yeah, she's not even why? born yet, <laughs> or she's a little kid. That's not the business. As I think Miles says it, we are living our timelines messed up. Yes, but we are yeah. still living them after each other. Yeah. So I, at any point she gets back to 2007, she can get back to her real life. And that must be some sort of, I'm not totally sure, but it would give me some motive to get back to 2007. Well, that's one. See, that's interesting. The... Jack and these guys wanted to get back to the island to save the people who are there. The people who are there in the 70s, Sawyer, etc., seem to be living just perfectly happy, fine lives. They don't really need saving. No, but so... it's not saving. It's the problem. <laughs> if you're really listening into what they are trying to save, Jack is trying to save the island. But it, it has nothing to do with Sawyer and the other guys. Kate claims that she's there to save Claire. Right. Among other things, which I totally don't believe. Well, I actually. <laughs> so Love we'll get we'll get to that. We'll get to it. that. But I I think that Kate, that rationale for Kate, the reason she wants to go back is like the only thing that makes sense for her to go back. No, not not for Kate. If it were anyone except Kate, Kate okay, is so. Ex Kate so, Kate o believes in herself. So so let's let's go back to this particular episode. And, so and I, nobody nobody is interested to go and save Sawyer and Juliet. No one. Yeah, no. I, They're there because of totally different reasons. Saeed didn't want to go there, and what Hurl is there doing, I don't know. But he's enjoying himself, so he's yeah, okay. No, I I think they are just living their lives, and they would have kept on living them up until. Uh, now I don't know what they would have done if they would have lived for thirty years. And been no, old. they are going to get killed when they all been gassed. Oh yeah, that's true. So yes. that's that's a timeline that we already know of, and they also know of it. Hurley have seen the grave and all that, so mm -hmm. they know when this good life is going to end. Yeah. So <laughs> it, we'll get to that that time paradox stuff. It. I think in the next I think one. we need to so you said last time that we should drop this timeline stuff. I say let's keep on it because it's no it's no way we are going to solve this no. this watching even this even this watching we can't do without timelines. Well the the thing is in all three of these episodes nobody has any discussion about how to get back to the future. Nope. They they are trying to solve their immediate problem of surviving so Saeed out of out of his yeah. pickle or uh just you know blending in but they they don't nobody knows yet what they're supposed to do to get back to the future and ben and these oh, okay we'll get to that we'll get to that so yeah we <laughs> get so, a lot of stuff in so, this one. so Saeed basically doesn't want to play the game and uh, as, a, as it said in that summary, the Dharma Initiative, for some reason, 
decide that they're going to unanimously vote to just kill him, <laughs> which yeah. I think is a little bit of a stretch, but okay. Uh, yeah. And they take him out, they tie him up to a tree, and he's given some truth serum. <laughs> that was the most fun part I've seen in a long time. <laughs> by Bob Newhart. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, and it was hilarious because he's sitting there telling the truth, and they're not believing him. <laughs> he starts to laugh, and his laugh at that—it wasn't his. It can't be the real Saeed's laugh, but it was a laugh with that truth serum inside of him. Yeah, it was. He knows that whatever he's going to say is going to be the truth, and if they believe it, <laughs> they are going to have trouble. If they don't believe it, yeah. yeah. And then uh, he says, oh, well, I think I gave him too much. <laughs> and <he's> like, <laughs> and even at that point, oh, dear, I thought that was hilarious. Yeah, I agree. I was, it was a really well done, ah. even though it was a torture. It, not quite torture, but... Um, I'm laughing my tears out, <laughs> even <laughs> this time. <laughs> and I'm not watching it. <laughs> so, oh. so then, uh, basically, Saeed gets rescued by Ben. Sort of. Yeah, I think he was. Yep. Ben used the keys to get him out when there was yep. a distraction. And the way he gets paid back is was I love this end is when Saeed shoots young Ben. Yeah. And I oh my gosh, the first time I saw it and this time I just jumped <laughs> off the couch. Oh my god. Like, you know, yeah. the shock of seeing a child getting hurt. Yeah, is, that's that's always a it's Tough. very hard for but me. It's ben. ben can't die. We know that he can't die. Well, at this point in the show, right? Like the first time I'm seeing it, I'm thinking they just changed the timeline. Like, like this is bad. Yeah, but, <laughs> but the real Ben, or this is what I say. Yeah, now we are talking timelines again. Yeah. The 2007 Ben is still alive at the same time, my dear yeah. friend. Yeah. This is the problem we're going to have. So while the young Ben is shot. He can't die. There has to be another solution, and they fix it, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I figured the I figured the <laughs> island was was just going to kick in and heal him. But, yeah, but it's a little more complicated than that. It's much complicated than that. So you have to give your soul as well. Yeah. So th this episode, though, I mean, it's really Saeed from top to bottom. I I don't have any other. No, nope. and the fun part is that he wrestles Jin, but he doesn't move, he just knocks him out yeah. um, in a friendly way almost <laughs> and then he runs out into the jungle and I'm not totally sure we ever going to see him again <laughs> it's going to be fun to see wherever he ends up Yeah, yeah. that's Saeed, so that's the whole episode actually yeah, yeah, I don't have much else on that one but they get more complicated. <laughs> there are a couple of stuff. Juliet forgets the bacon. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it's the, in the beginning. Sawyer is um, catching Juliet standing there, staring out. I think it's on Jack and Kate. Oh, okay. So she forgets her bacon. Yeah, she... And to be to be totally, if you're not totally aware of that, we are always debating bacon. You, bacon is a very, it's a national uh, feast in every country, at least in Sweden and the United States. So oh, yeah. That's why. And yeah. and one more point. Uh, we start also in 2000 and whatever, four, five, six, we don't know, when Saeed is finally murdering the last one in the row of Widmore employees, and uh, Ben is standing at a Volvo Amazon, <laughs> oh. a Volvo 123. It's not a Russian car. I, I must have to say this. There were no Volvos in Russia. So this is a totally miss. but since they are recording everything on Hawaii, they just <laughs> took whatever old car they thought could look like a Moscow car. Yeah. Good thing, but nope, not to a Swede. You can't fix that with a Swede. Yeah, I guess, I guess there is something to say about that scene because it, it you can see that when Ben says we're done and just sort of casually is like, you're free, go. And Saeed yeah. is sort of like, now what do I do? Yeah. And Live your life, Ben is, says. Is that 
the moment where Saeed now turns against Ben, like he's been against the whole time. It, I, I have a feeling that he didn't like what he's doing, but he's doing it to help the guys on the island. Yeah, I don't know. Which he seems so good. into it. <laughs> uh, yeah, but he's good at it. Remember, yeah. the guy is good at it, and we we saw that early on. See, mm, okay, f- season one. I get. I agree. He was a he was a torturer, but he seemed like a reluctant torturer, not a killer. Yep. And oh. then he he. I don't know. I, I just feel like this episode somewhat paints him too narrowly as this killer. He loves killing kind of thing. Yeah, yeah with the chicken and all that. He, yeah, he was much more complex. He he fell in love. He, yeah. you know, was was went through that learning where he Ooh. got captured in the restaurant and was was upset about torturing like he already sort of paid for that sin. I like yeah. I like that this was sort of a mirror episode for him, but I don't know. Uh, it, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not really sure where he goes from here. No. no. Even if. But he's... he has done. He has done his part. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let, <laughs> let's move on to dead is dead. Unless you had any other. No. 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 Don't jump over what's happened. Happened. What? Oh my gosh, my numbering. You are so wow. in a hurry to reach number 12. I guess it's I very am. Good <laughs> okay, whatever happened, happened. Should I read something? No, or? I have it okay. almost clear. I just need a little more light. Uh, Juliet tries to save the dying young Ben, but can't because she's not a surgeon. Jack refuses to help, and Juliet's... Juliet realize that only the others can help. Kate takes charge in order... <laughs> yeah, you're right. In order to save the dying boy. Kate's flashbacks, flash forwards, shows that before she returned to the island, she visited her old friend who is also Sawyer's ex and we see the uh, agonizing decision she made before leaving on her Ajira flight 316. Yeah. Yeah, well, one thing is sure. She did it on purpose. She did it because she wanted to. Yeah. This That's one, this one's a little more complicated. I think we should go through in somewhat in order. <laughs> Are you sure? I have hardly any notes. It's not uh, complicated. Well, the I... reason why Kate went to the island. Yeah. I mean, how complicated is that? Well, so she ba- basically what I the way that I understand it is she felt like Sawyer betrayed or not betrayed her, left her in the helicopter, broke her heart, I think they said. And so she needed to fill it, so she clutched on to Aaron. Once okay. once she realized that eventually she's going to lose Aaron or, you know, he, she, she fixes whatever it is with Jack. She doesn't need Aaron anymore. She realizes like he's probably better off with his grandma. And so she's going to give him up. And in doing that, she feels like her leaving Claire behind was a bad thing. And so she's going to go back and find Claire. I mean, it's kind of twisted logic, but it, it at least it's motivation. I can <laughs> understand the math. Yeah, in a normal person, like in you and me, yes, but not in Kate. Kate doesn't do anything that doesn't benefit Kate or fulfill any self-pitiful things or whatever it is. It all has to do with Kate. Saving Claire saves Kate. Saving Aaron saves Kate. Sure. has nothing to do with Aaron. So everything is evolving Kate, whatever she decides to do. It sounds like she's doing things for others. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, but she's not. She's always doing it for herself. It's an easy one. So so let's talk about when she goes to Cassidy for a second. Because... Oh, yeah. That was was nice. I I feel like... Good friends. in In the original flashbacks, she meets Cassidy outside that 
store where she's trying to hawk the watches or whatever. Yep. Yep. And they don't know each other, but they become somewhat friends, right? Yeah, they are on the wrong side of the law, so and they feel it. It's like they have some sort of sisterly connection or something. So then Kate goes to the island, right? And Sawyer mm-hmm. tells her, go go to Cassidy and mm-hmm. give her whatever. Now, at that very moment, does Kate not, did Kate not realize it's the same Cassidy she already knew? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She, she must not have realized it, right? Because wouldn't you she s- have, wouldn't she have flipped out like, wait a minute, I know Cassidy, how, wouldn't? Yeah, wouldn't- but in the helicopter, she had no time to do that. She has no time to flip. So let's let's assume that she just heard this name, but she didn't realize who it was, right? And then, so now she gets back to 2000-whatever. She goes to Cassidy, yeah. and she's like, okay, Sawyer sent me. And yeah. Cassidy isn't, she's like, oh, my old friend, how did you find me? Oh, she's, don't you think she would have flipped out? Like, how do you know Sawyer? <laughs> Like, I mean, this is not, like, a trivial thing. Yeah, well, if you're, if you're talking about the acting, it was rotten, yeah. Yeah, they, they just complete the script just completely missed the, the big what-the-F moment of, like, because <laughs> if I was Cassidy, I would think, wait a minute, was Kate in with Sawyer this whole time in some yeah, long time? Yeah, should, should I plant a fist in her eye? Yeah. Something and, like that. So that that was kind of like I feel like they that was too smooth of a reconnection there. And then yeah. when but, when Aaron's in the grocery store and that lady's kind of walking away with him, mm-hmm. the way that it was shot, I remember thinking like, okay, is is somebody taking him? Is that Juliet? Is that clear? Like, mm-hmm. like are we supposed to think that that it's somebody? You know, like I kept waiting for that lady to appear again the whole rest of the episode. No, 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 no. I, I doubt that. I think that was solid, solid uh, and real. Yeah. That has nothing to do with Charles Widmore or anything, actually, yeah. or Ben. Uh, that was what happened because Ben saw something. Uh, sorry, uh, Aaron saw something and just ran away, and that lady picked him up. Yeah. Uh, and as you probably know, uh, most of the time, if you're running looking for your child, you always start running in the wrong direction. So I guess Kate did that too. <laughs> yeah. And that means that you're twice the f- distance away from your kid when you end than you started. So always think the other way. So now that that moment was actually because, again, as I said, it's about Kate. It has nothing to do with Aaron. Has nothing to do with stealing kids. It has to do with oh, I'm not, I'm not capable of keeping this kid. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm too bad for this kid, or I'm not good enough. I, I don't want to have this bother. Yeah. It's more like that. Well, it's interesting because she was at, at for four and a half seasons. She was running, right? <laughs> yeah. And now, and then for half season, she was. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying put with this baby. And now she's gone. She's had another clean slate where I'm going backwards. Uh, yep. I'm not running away from something. I'm running towards something. Yep. So I don't know. It, it's it's okay. Uh, yeah, but Kate, Kate is sort of very complicated to get into. Yeah. But if you always start thinking that she's thinking about herself and to be, as I said so many times, the actors on this show are so good. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't even. It's so long ago <laughs> since I saw a, a show that had this this many good actors. There are some dips here and there, yeah, but that's because they are getting um, well more used to their role character. Yeah. Uh, Jack is still being an asshole, but I I think he could have done that a bit better. Well, but he, that's the old one. Yeah, he's doing it in a totally different way, though. So so yep. let's follow Kate now to the past. <laughs> so now in Dharmaville, right? Yeah. So the first thing that I have notes, <laughs> uh, besides the fact that... So Jin, Jin gets Ben's body and starts bringing him back. Yep. Uh, Kate 
meets Ben's dad, which yep. this whole sequence was pretty interesting to me because every single time we've seen Ben's dad up till now, we've he's been painted as a bad guy. Yep, with a beer can in his hand. And But for some reason with Kate, he seems to have a connection. He livens up a little. He yep. doesn't seem so bad. Nope. I thought that was interesting that they chose to paint him that way. Yeah, but there's always two sides to a coin. So why not? It's yeah, good. But, and but, he, in, I, I think he he plays it very well. Oh, yeah. Except for the fact that he is more into her than she is into him. Oh, She's sure. just trying to be nice because she she doesn't know the back end from a car. So, And she's in the carpool. I mean, come on. Well, <laughs> she I'm, was totally misplaced, if anything. I mean, I think so, he's, he's been there on the island, uh, I don't know, three, four years maybe, something like that. Yeah, something like that. And he basically feels like he was suckered there and shoved into yep. a box and has yep. no one to relate to. Suddenly nope. he meets this person who's also kind of at the bottom of the pile. Yeah, seems to be the same starter as he yeah. was. And so, they even say it, so... So maybe, like, he's attracted to a friend. He just needed a friend, you know? He need he, he, Totally, he needed a friend. But does he know it? Because a female friend in the 70s didn't exist. I'm not even sure it, it does now. It, nowadays in the U.S., but... Oh, no, it does. But, yeah, yeah, that's a whole... <laughs> you're, right, you're absolutely right. That's a whole side of this that is not really addressed as any sort of social... I mean, basically, in Dharma, the men and women are right there together. There is no yes. inequality. It, I think that is very good. That's actually putting the... But is the individuals paying attention to that thing? Because, as you said, Dharma does it, but love can still grow. Yeah. Now, I have what? another Sorry. sort of question slash issue with this whole episode mm -hmm. well actually the whole the whole fact that ben has been there as a kid for three years juliet's been there uh not to mention everyone else but ben should have remembered them when he grows up that they were there with him no <laughs> yeah he should Nope. I mean, he spent three years in the same town with them. Nope. There's no way he couldn't remember them. Nope. You will you will remember this in the next episode because the the others are going to clean his memory blank. But so okay, but Ri so Richard does say Ben will forget this happen once he's healed. That's in this yep. episode. Is it? Is it okay? Yeah, but that specific, but but not he's not going to forget his entire. Child. No, 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 no. He's going to remember who his dad is and all that. But what the relations are back and forth. I mean, it's not even possible that Ben and Juliet has been speaking to each other for three years. We don't know that. It seems hard, hard to think that they wouldn't have or he, he would know who the important people are in Dharma. He would know Sawyer very well. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I'll, OK, I take it back. I take it back. He would know a guy named Lafleur. Yeah. But Juliet's not hiding her name. No, but he's in the carpool. And Ben is <laughs> Ben is just too smart. I, I. Yeah, I can't. I agree. And if. OK, so if Richard, this temple thing erases selectively erases Ben's memory of being shot. Like, why does he forget only these people and not everything else about his life? He doesn't forget Annie. He doesn't forget any of that other stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't nope. feel like it's a little thin. It is, but it's put down to the island and the mysteries around that one. It's yeah. not the others. It's the island. Yeah. So that's my one main gripe. Uh, yeah. On well, the, on the other I, hand, I can't, <laughs> oh, go ahead. Yeah, I agree with you because it's not that good ex explanation. Yeah, it's it is because no too one easy. else, no one else that has ever like a lot of people get healed. Yep. Nobody else had to become one of the others in order to get healed. No one else got taken to the nope. temple. It's, not that we know. Yeah, it seems uh, something. Uh, now, on the, the other hand, is, I, the temple is getting a bit 
bigger and bigger and bigger uh, value on the island. And it's rather fun because it wasn't even within the first three seasons. So. Yeah, yeah. Now, I've, I really love the mirror and the irony of this episode where Jack is refusing to operate yep. on Ben for the second time or the first time. <laughs> I, I would say that was a good call. It's hard. Yeah, I, I think I would just be too emotional about the fact that it's a kid in pain. I would yes. I would operate on him and try to yes. fix him. But again, you know that Jack has already met Ben in a later stage of Ben's life. Yeah. Why would he try to save a guy who he has already met? Yeah. He Jack hasn't grasped the thing of time traveling. Jack doesn't know that he is living his life in a row as he should. But Ben doesn't because Ben is actually living in two timelines at the same time. And Jack doesn't know that, but he's just referring well, to it as, as I've already met this guy when he's grown up, I don't have to save him. He's going to be saved. Right. But I, but I think that actually shows that Jack already does understand this whole time travel thing. Might be. Yeah. He just, Might be. So, so again, like Jack is, okay, so Jack got back to the island. He sees what's going on. He seems content yep. to just hang out and wait until something happens. He and doesn't... I think... He knows what it is going to happen. Someone is going to call him, to talk to him, and then something going to happen. And we all know who's that going to be. I don't know. He's dead. Oh. Mm. Yeah. I don't, the big I, reunion, you know. Yeah. yeah. It, I love, I also love all of the Hurley acting as the audience. Trying to yeah. <laughs> talk to Miles about the time travel. Yeah, that is good. Oh man, it's uh, it's so funny. But it's nothing against the Laurel and Hardys in the next episode, anyway. Oh, and yeah. actually, yeah, and we start, we end episode eleven with Locke wishing Ben welcome back to life. <laughs> and yeah. I was I was laughing hard. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what you say to your enemy when he's lying there. Yeah. And you can just plant. You could have killed him in his sleep. He knows it. Oh, yeah. Welcome yeah. back. Life. <laughs> so, that was so many values in that word life. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's a funny show. Is this a comedy? Uh, it's very. <laughs> th I'm. I'm. I, so I remember that they went back to live in Dharma times, but I cannot remember how they got from there to wherever they go next. Nope. But you and, will now remember this forever, Ron Smalek. Yeah. Well, and, and but I like I'm just enjoying seeing them struggle and and twist yeah. and turn. It's it's it's, oh, it's really I really enjoyed these episodes. So yeah. So should we go to 12 then? Yes, we now this now we go to the big one. So this the dead is big. dead which well we'll get to this statement in a second. So in 2007 yep. Ben and Locke travel to the main island so that Ben can be judged by the smoke monster for letting Alex die. Well they just mm. that's the whole episode right there. Uh, meanwhile Frank returns to <laughs> Hydra Island and is taken hostage by the survivors of flight 316. Flashbacks show Ben's abduction of Alex in the late 1980s yeah. and his confrontation with Desmond and Penny prior to boarding Flight 316. Yep. A lot of stuff happens in this one, I gotta oh, say. Yeah. I mean, where should we start even? Uh, I'm just going to go in my notes chronological. So You do so. Flipping around a little bit. So, <laughs> so Widmore, uh, would you say middle-aged? Yes. Talks to Richard about Ben yes. as a kid and whether or not they, so this is the seventies, whether or not they should save Ben. And interestingly says the Island chooses who the Island chooses. Yes. You know that, which I think again, like this is the first time where I don't really see the Island choosing. I just see a kid who got shot They're gets brought to them. Well, but, you, you have to see the whole chain of events because who started this thing going 
to the others. It was Juliet, a person that shouldn't even be there. But yeah. the island accepts her. She is, so that's okay. We can, you, we can use her because she is a doctor. Why not use Jack? Because he's reluctant. So ja uh, Juliet gets this notion that she can go to the others. Uh, and she gets that notion because she has been on this island not before, but after she's here now. Oh dear, it's it's an island notion. So yeah. giving it, it's the island who chooses Juliet to save the child. Then okay, then it's Kate and Sawyer who goes off in the distance. Yes. Yeah, I, I, and you you brought it up a little bit ago. Widmer is apparently aging because he's not that 1950s army kid anymore. No, he's not. So I think though what we find out near at some point in this episode is that he's been leaving the island and he Ooh. has a relationship and a daughter outside of oh, the island. Oh yes. Oh yes. So that it could be that he's aging while he's off the island and when he comes back he stops aging kind of thing. Type something like that. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Now, okay, before we go any farther, <laughs> Mm. I want you to bookmark this episode, and after we're all done with the whole series, this is the one that you have to come back and watch. Yep. Um, it's one I'm of gonna, the five. <laughs> and, and I have a lot of notes that I want to talk about after we finish. <laughs> but so I'm going to try uh -huh. not to spoil or like tease anything, okay. but this one has a lot of stuff in it that won't, yep. that will make so much more sense later. Of course it's going to be. I mean, more than any episode we've passed up to date. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Uh, <laughs> but if I, but I had, had to say that, I have to bookmark it in my mind here yep. for us. Yep. So Ben was going back to be judged by the monster. Yes. Um, that might be true from the beginning. I'm not totally sure. Remember, I doubt everything that comes out of Ben's mouth. Everything yeah. is lie until proven otherwise. Yeah, it's really hard to to, to trust him. The only way, yeah, yeah you can't. You, the only way to really watch this and not be be fooled by everything he does he, that he does. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't work that way. But we are going to see a side of Ben that we don't. We I didn't think he could. Well, yep, he's going to be judged by the monster. Yeah. Now, and now we are going there again. Is the monster the island, or is it part of the island, or what? It's it's the island's security system and judge, basically. <laughs> okay, so he's the police. All right. Yeah, I don't. It's not the island, but it's a minion of the island. It seems like. Yeah. So then, then we have Ilana and her team are moving this big giant crate. Uh, yep. So now I'm positive that this group of people is here for some other reason. Mm -hmm. But I don't understand why Ben and John are pretty much completely, they don't even care nope. that these people are like obviously organized for a purpose. Like Ben in particular, wouldn't he be suspecting they're for Widmore trying to figure out what they're doing? Like, it just completely doesn't matter to them at all. They're just like, get out of our way. We're going back to the island. Yes, but I think Ben is taking them as priority three or something like that. He yeah. needs to take things in the right step. Yeah. They are stuck on Hydra Island or stuck. That's perhaps the wrong word. There are several other canoes, but they don't know what they're going to meet if they go to the main island. Ben and Locke does. And even Frank does, actually. He's been flying over that island several times. Well, so It kind of makes me think that they are definitely not from Widmore, because if they were, then Ben, he would have known them and yeah. done something about it. They are something else. You think so? I, don't, I really don't know. Well, like, let's throw in a, a coin then, that perhaps they're from another timeline. I think there's something else, but yeah, I don't, yeah. I really don't know. Um, I call them Ben's army, so. Hmm. They don't work for <laughs> Ben, that's for sure. Not yet. So then we get a flashback, and this one was kind of cool, when Ben steals Alex. 
and he's with Ethan. Yeah, yeah. And he says something interesting to Alex or to uh, Danielle. Danielle. Every time you hear the whispers, you run the other way. Yeah. And that was that was interesting. Yes. Uh, I think that basically means the whispers are like means him him and the others are coming or something like that. Yeah. And at that point, Ben must have killed all the others. All the Dharma, right? Mm. See, I had the same... It's got to be close to this time, except that Ethan is with him, and Ethan Ethan is Amy and Horace's kid yep. from Dharma. So this is the 80s. <laughs> Late 80s, they said, so yes. So if... If Ben killed Dharma at this point, he he must have killed Ethan as well. Well, no, he would have. He must have gotten Ethan out first, right? <laughs> yeah, that's probably uh, uh, the flashback. Okay, hang on. This has to be before he killed Dharma because Charles Widmore is still the leader of Dharma. Oh, and this is like okay. Ben's test to to become one of them. But he needs to be at the Dharma living there as well. Yeah. Doesn't he? Because he needs to speak to his father and and the, he, him and Roger is going out in that van and he's going to kill his own father and all that stuff. Yeah, I think this is some... He needs some... to be at the Dharma, living with the Dharma at that point when he gasses the whole community or when they do that. Correct. So... There, there is, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's not clear, but it, no, but it's. I feel like okay. We saw we saw him steal Alex because yep. he because he and, and honestly, by the end of this episode, I'm thinking that Ben steals Alex and protects Rousseau because Widmore yep. would have just killed them both, and so again, Ben acts for himself, but yep, but he's acting for the good of others, it just looks like he did it in a really bad way. He's doing it because it might get him a, a position later on. Yeah. And he's also challenging Widmore at that point. Here, mm -hmm. kill her. And Widmore backs off. Yeah. The whole That whole scene gives me a lot of information about Charles Widmore as well, because that guy has been claiming that Ben is the bad guy and Charles Widmore is the good guy. But I didn't get that feeling at all. <clears throat> mm -hmm. No. So I was thinking, are we watching this from a neutral perspective? We see what's really happening, or do we see it with someone else's eyes? Are we seeing it with Ben's eyes through his memory? Yeah. Because it has a bit of bearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It 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 deepens the mystery for sure. <laughs> but I'm not I'm not trusting Charles Widmore either, so it's okay. So then so that was the flashback. Then we are back to the island. Ben basically recaps the whole murder to John and again says I what I everything I've been doing is in the interest of the island. Yeah. That's what he wants. He thinks he wants to be judged on that, and really it's not that. It's whether or not he killed Alex. And then Ben shoots Caesar. Yep. Uh, that was shot, and I wasn't, I wasn't nearly expecting it. it and this <laughs> goes back to what I said before of, like, he doesn't seem to know or care who this guy is. He's just in his way. So now Caesar's gone. And that's good. I don't know. The, the whole idea of like, who are these people still bugging me? But I, uh, I'm sure we'll find yeah, it well, out. We'll get, yeah, you'll get into it. So, now, the, the interaction between Ben and John Locke mm. in this case is, it's like, it's like Laurel and Hardy. Mm. They are tossing things at each other. They are talking. And Ben is actually explaining things and for once he says something that i believe is the truth from the start never before has and i think he's talking to son about this right uh, never before has that happens that a dead man is going up and is uh, a living again dead is dead and i think that is the truth 
Uh, I think Ben has never... Yeah, he says that the island has made many, many miracles. But it has never revived a dead person. Dead is dead. But what about Christ? I mean, the whole reason... He doesn't know about Christian. Yeah, but he does. He definitely... He doesn't know that he was dead. Yeah, he does. He knows that he was in the coffin on the on the first plane. That's why John had but to be his ben proxy. Hasn't, ben hasn't met Christian. Well, he may not have met him resurrected, but like he saw his mom after his mom died. He followed his mom into yeah. the woods, so he saw someone but come back. But she is dead. She's, he hasn't met her yet. No, when he was or a kid. Yeah, well, I know. He, he, I mean, there are, there's lots of instances where dead people... Yeah, that we, you, you and I know, yeah, but Ben doesn't know it. Ben doesn't know it, not from his perspective, and this is where it really gets awkward, because we are not going, we are not seeing it from Ben's perspective at any point. But from Ben's perspective, it hasn't been a, a meeting with the dead until now, so he can't explain why John Locke is up and moving and f looking better than ever. No, I, I, with with his Ben's knowledge of how Island works, yeah, and I know he saw his mom. He followed her into oh. the woods. Yeah. He, I, I'm certain Once. that at some point in past episodes, he had conversations about with somebody about, are you seeing people or you're seeing things like, I think yes, he must know. Yeah, but that's just rumors or hallucinations or whatever you can call it. This time he has really killed a person and he's standing there before him more alive than he was when he killed him. Yeah, I, I have no doubt that and Ben so, is surprised at what's going on. Thank you. <laughs> I have no doubt about that. But I, but I think he knows that people, dead people, can appear on the island. I he, I think he knows that. But yeah, he doesn't. Maybe because John was killed by Ben off the island. I, I don't know. But, but I agree with what you're saying. He he is completely mm. surprised and not sure what to make of it. We are going to see something later on that is also a part of this dead is dead thing. Yeah. Now, while they're talking, I like the part where John says like something like, are you sure the island would have want you to live in Dharma housing? And like, yeah, basically, does the island really approve of the fact that Ben gassed all those people and then lived in their houses instead of, you know, continuing to live in these camps. Yeah. Because yeah. all the way up to that point, they were living more in tune with the island. Yep. More in tune with nature. And, like, do you think John is just antagonizing Ben or does he know, like, he? you just look at his confidence, it's 100% <laughs> there. Now. Oh, yes. He says it he seems... doesn't remember what happened but he seems to know he seems his connection is really strong to the island yes absolutely he's so channeled so oh yeah and that's bugging of course ben because he has lost everything with the island mm -hmm. up to a point <clears throat> well oh you know what okay uh also john turned and ben knows that john turned the wheel to stop all the flashing stuff right Yep. So John and Ben both should be should be exiled in the same status, but yet yes. somehow John is like above. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but in order to get back, he needed to be dead. Yeah. Well, so I question why, that why did is. I question? Okay, so oh, this is gonna this might be hard to follow. Why did John need to be the one that was dead and be the proxy for Christian? Why couldn't Jack have been the one in the coffin or? Why couldn't, you know, somebody else be in the coffin? You need, you need one who has been connected with the island since day one. So, therefore, does that mean that Christian was connected with the island since day before yes. he was in the coffin? Yes. Oh, yes. So we come all the way back to that, and that's <laughs> the reason why Christian keeps appearing to people... Yeah, some... and Jack does. Jack doesn't know that the fact that Christian, his own father, has been living on this island or being on this island, and we don't know actually 
what in what capacity he has been living here. But since he's a doctor, he might have been doing some witch stuff. You don't really never know. I don't know. I, yeah. And he's also been flying to Australia now and then and making yeah. more bait. So he's not 100% Islander him either. He's just Charles, like Charles Whitmore. Yeah, I yeah. This is like I was finally over the fact. Okay, fine. The Christian doesn't have anything special. Just happens to be who Jack needs to see. Now yeah. all of a sudden, I'm thinking. Wait a minute. Christian may be more important than we thought. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. He always has been, but he's 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 a bugging. He's a bugging one. So then we have Lapidus. So they all meet in the Dharma. Basically, Sun was waiting there for for John, uh, and then Lapidus is like, "Okay, see you. I'm going back." He yep. leaves them. Which yeah, fix the radio in season six? He says, "No, he doesn't." But I think so. <laughs> I don't know. I felt like like he wouldn't have abandoned Sun. Oh yes, he would. You think so? Oh, yes. Oh yes. He I mean, is actually he is more concerned with. If there has been any people on the island that he could met and talked and, well, that's one thing. But there's no one there. And he has, as always, a uh, responsibility to his aircraft. And he might actually get that radio going even if he knows that it's impossible. Yeah. I, I was disappointed that he left her. Maybe that's how I should say it. Think that he has done what she he's supposed to be doing, and the fact that he's been flying the Guam plane to this point, yeah. and that was a nice touch. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah. You have done yours. Here's your salary. Yeah. So ben, I thought. Yeah. So then Ben goes. He opens up a secret drain. <laughs> oh, are well, we not going to talk about the the, the departure of Charles? Oh, uh, that's next. So. So, okay. yeah, we get the flashback where Ben's pushing Alex on the swing, and then yeah. Richard okay. comes, and they're exiling Charles. Yeah. And basically, it's because Charles, what I heard him say was it's because he kept leaving the island, and he had a daughter with an external person, which is Miss yes. Hawking, and oh. the daughter is Penny, right? Oh, Mrs. Hawking, okay. Well, isn't that... Oh, no, that's not. Actually, you know, you're right. We don't know if Hawking is Penny's mom. Why Hawking not? Hawking is Daniel's mom. Sorry. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> I, my notes are incorrect. Charles and Hawking had Daniel, right? Okay. Oh, am I forgetting? I haven't heard about that either. I haven't heard about the father of Daniel. You are oh. just putting season six stuff, right? No, 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 no. I think I'm, I just completely confused myself. Hold on. Hawking is Daniel's mom, right? Yep. Okay. And Charles is Penelope, Penny's father. That's all what we know so far. Okay. So, hmm. And as we see on that submarine departure stuff, so, Charles Widmore is really old. So and wait, still. No. Sorry, sorry. Why? What? what Charles, what was the reason that Charles was funding Daniel's research and all that stuff? To find the island again. Hmm. Okay. I get, you know what? I, I guess there isn't anything to say that's... Because that would make Penny and Daniel related. Yeah. Which... I don't know where I got that idea when I wrote, I wrote this in my notes <laughs> that he had a daughter with an external person. I just assumed that that was Miss Hawking. Yeah, but there are several no, other external persons out there. It actually makes more sense if it's not her, if it's just some random lady. Yeah. Because Miss Hawking is connected in some way. So, yeah. okay. So forget I said that. I, that is actually legitimately me being confused, not trying to cover like a spoiler. Yeah. Uh, so. But one of the main things Charles said on that doc is that he still claims that the island wanted to see Danielle and Alex dead. 
Uh, That's where it started this thing about killing each other's daughters. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I just don't get why would the island want them dead. No, me neither. I think Charles is wrong. <laughs> That's my personal opinion. Yeah, I, I'm not yeah. totally sure why, what Charles is doing, but he's not doing it right. But he's been too long on that island. He's been living a very good life, both as a soldier and later as a, the other. And um, no, I don't think he's good with this. Well, he wasn't a soldier. He just was wearing the soldier's uniform that they killed. Oh, yes, that's true. We don't really know... How he ended up. How he yeah. got there. In, well, he knows that. And we are never going, never going to know that either. Oh, man. It's just making me think back of like, remember when he was at the auction, he was trying to buy like the manifest for the Black Rock and stuff? Yeah. Maybe he's been on the island like a long. Maybe he. Was... Him, yeah, even with the Black Rock. I don't know. Anyways, now I'm getting way, way into conspiracy theories. Yes. But basically, yeah, so Ben is taking the island from Widmore. Well, and let's see. Are you sure that you want to say it like that? It feels like Ben is just making the rules, uh, taking the rules from the island. The island wants to see Charles go. Or is it really Ben? Because we need to establish if the island and Ben is actually cohorting in this time, or if Ben has his own agenda at this point already. Uh, I'm 100% sure that Ben has his own agenda. All the way. But it, but it may be in line with the rules of their little yes. island. But it's not in line what he have heard Jacob the island say to him. Always. But right. he's using Jacob the Island every time. Jacob the Island says that it's going to be like this. Jacob the Island says this and that. <laughs> and we haven't heard Jacob the Island say anything, and no has, nor has the others. But as long as Richard actually believes what Ben says, it's okay. Yeah. And that I always feel strange. Richard is the strongest leader of them all, and he's not the leader. Yeah, but like Charles, the way the way he even looks at Ben, like you get the impression that yep. he feels like Ben tricked him somehow. Or... Already, when he, when, already when he before the fact that he was saved by the temple, mm -hmm. I think already there, uh, Charles was what the. Hmm? Yeah, I mean it's kind of like Charles was jealous of Ben when Ben got quote-unquote chosen now yeah. ben becomes jealous of Locke when he gets chosen like that's sort of the eventual <laughs> fate of the leader yep elton john go to the island so right. so i don't know uh they're they're explaining <laughs> things but again it's like we're missing a few yeah pieces. let's take let's take an explanation that we love and that is finalizing something that we needed to know what did ben do before he got on the plane uh he went to kill penny penny yay try anyway and he, yes he didn't succeed very well why didn't he succeed very well because he sees a kid which <laughs> with with the name of charlie which yeah uh, yeah i think it was just he didn't want to shoot her in front of a kid i mean no no, just that's that's the exact point when Ben realizes that he's going to shoot his own daughter again. He's going to kill his own daughter again. This is not going to do anything else but killing his own daughter again and again and again. Yeah. So he su he he suddenly stops and coming with the rugby tackle <laughs> is Mister Desmond who was shot in his bags of groceries. <laughs> Yeah, it was a really good shot. It, whenever. it was total action. It was Hawaii Five O again. This was just jung jung jung. I like that. It was so good, and it was over in less than a minute. And I was thinking, oh, okay, yeah, mm, that explained. Oh, hmm. I actually had to go back and watch that scene one more time because where the heck did Desmond come from? He was like, I don't know. 
several meters away. Yeah, yeah. And running on a wooden pier is actually making a noise. Mm-hmm. But he was flying because he's going to save his kid. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But that tackle was good. And I now know why he had a sore arm. <laughs> yeah, and blood. Or, I, I love the shot where it's an underwater shot when Ben hits the water face first yeah. and blood is streaming out of his nose. Yeah. Yeah, that was a really good good cut there. Yeah. So, and so let's save Desmond and Penny and Charlie are saved. Was that the last time we saw them in our series? I mean, honestly, it feels... It should have. Yeah, it feels wrapped up, but I would... No, no, I, I wouldn't would be say. disappointed because we have a whole nother season. <laughs> but I don't, want, yeah. I don't want Desmond to come back with yet another flashing through time. No, 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 no. Thing. He's flashed enough as it is. But on the other hand, I don't want season six to end with a long coffee table with cakes and stuff and everybody sitting there, including the, all the dead ones. Hey, let's celebrate. I mean, should, that would be totally. Should I add that to my notes <laughs> as a prediction? <laughs> no, but if you were a sweet director, you would have seen that. Mm-hmm. We had to add some sort of cup of coffee and end it all. Because that's what we do in Sweden. Okay. And even if you it's okay. You can sit there with your blood and stuff and just have your cup of coffee. It's okay. Okay, so, you want tea. Well, tea is fine as well. Yeah. So then let so then back to two thousand seven. I love when yes. <laughs> So Ben tries to summon the thing. He yep. he comes out of the house. I think he's there with Sun. Yeah. And he says What's about to come out of that jungle is something I can't control. Thinking yep. it's going to be the monster. And then John walks out. And I just laughed at the irony <laughs> of the timing of it. <laughs> uh, I it's like Laurel and Hardy or C3 PNR to D2 again. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good <laughs> reference. Uh, so they go under the temple. Uh or yep. under the wall, basically. They don't go in... We don't get to see what's in the temple, but... No. But go. this is the, the the wall or surrounding the temple. The temple is way in, like a kilometer or something like that. Yeah. Or a mile, even. So... And uh, the smoke monster does finally come for Ben. Uh, hmm? And then, I guess, judges <laughs> him. And then Alex... Yeah shows up dead is dead right yeah yeah so how would ben react to this person being standing right as, uh, in front of him when he knows that Locke is alive after he's been dead what's well, he, the first thing you think oh you're alive right nope he doesn't well and she was pissed <laughs> <laughs> Well, and he, he's totally flummoxed Don't because... Use those words, Mr. Because Because she, she says, follow John. Don't, you know, yeah, don't that. kill him again. Yeah, like... <laughs> you want to. <laughs> so now at this point, he's convinced that John is the chosen one, yep. basically. That doesn't stop him from trying to kill him, but this time he won't. Yeah. Because his own daughter, his own dead daughter is going to kill him if he does. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear, oh dear, I thought, and I was just so sad. Oh, did it end there? <laughs> well, and it makes me, it makes me think that overall, like everything Ben was doing was yep. for the good of the island. Otherwise, mm-hmm. the smoke monster would have killed him. Well, so far he's been clearing that, yes. Yeah. But the island is also like Ben in one way. It doesn't bother with how many people are getting killed on the way. Mm-hmm. They just pause. So the island is also thinking like Ben. Yeah. And that's the reason why the island accepts what Ben does. But <laughs> except for the fact that he killed John. Yeah. That he didn't accept. Uh, but he didn't go down there in order to to um, redeem himself from the death of John Locke. He, did, well, he was down there to redeem himself for everything, more or less, including the thing he did with 
his daughter. But I think the thing that saved him this time was the fact that he didn't kill Penelope. He saved Penny, Ben. And the fact that he didn't shoot Penny made him actually get, go through the the redemption. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think he, with Alex's <laughs> death, he he really thought that Kimi wasn't going to kill her. Like right. he did not sacrifice her on purpose. He really thought that he that Kimi would back down. Yep, but you so. can never be sure, of people. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that Ben should have learned that a long time ago, yeah. but he thought that Charles Widmore was playing by the rules, and yes, Charles wouldn't have shot Alex at that point, but Kimi didn't have any rules at all. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't Charles who shot Alex; it was Kimi, and it was Ben who let Kimi because he didn't read that guy right. It was Ben who let him kill his own daughter. Yeah. And I think from this point on, I mean, e- even if uh, in the past Ben has been selfish and done things. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I, but I mean, it I has think, fit the island perfectly. Yeah. I think now, now the position is Ben and, and John are both totally devoted to the island mm-hmm. and are going to do whatever they need to do to protect it, even though. Between the seven, well, no, okay, they're in two thousand seven. They're not in the seventies. So the the other, the only other piece I have in here is back to Alana, and she says, uh, <laughs> I think to Lapidus, I didn't write down yep. who she said it to. She says, "What lies in the shadow of the statue?" Oh yeah, some kind of riddle. And yep. I think he doesn't answer, so they knock him out. I can't remember now. Nope. I didn't write that down, but I wrote down the quote, what lies in the shadow of yeah. the statues? Like, so they are here for some, either that, either the answer to the riddle, or that's the code word that lets you know that you're on their team. Yes. Something, something's <laughs> Most going likely. On. Most likely. And who, and who used to use code words like that? Old Egyptians and stuff. Well, I, I was thinking of Kelvin. Uh, remember when he answered the door to the yes, yes, thing, like, that what was Dharma. He... Yeah, yeah. So could Ilana be some remnant of Dharma coming back to reclaim the island from? No. Okay. I would, I would, I would even go further back because someone owned the island before the others. You before know that big statue. Yes, before before that big statue was standing there. Who built that statue? Who's made all these carvings inside the temple? Who yeah. built the temple even? It wasn't the others. So you think that Ilana and Caesar and these people like I mean they kind of have a Greek or yeah. them yeah. or Egyptian. Roman, yes. Or middle Yeah. Do you think there's some some I can see. Yep. Yeah, that could that could be. Uh, they're coming to find. Now that the island showed up on the radar, more than just yep. Widmore was looking for it. Yep. That Which, might be. And I think <laughs> I, ben, I haven't thought about this, so this is totally new to me as well. <laughs> so, like when Widmore says that a war is coming. Yeah. Is he talking about this third group, or is he still talking about him and Ben? Like. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that is interesting because I don't know. Yeah. But if it is now, I as, as I said, I just I just knew this suddenly. Well, uh, we we only have four more episodes left this season, so I think we're gonna find out, and then it will be resolved. Like Alana, her whatever her actual story is, I think we'll find out what's going on this season, yep. and it'll cliffhang and and get resolved in six. So I need to put her on my list as well. Yeah, I guess so. And take Caesar off because <laughs> I guess he's dead. <laughs> I haven't even had the time to put him on. Yeah. I don't... Well, that... Hold it, Mr. Smalek. Dead is dead, you say suddenly. Are you sure about this? Who is dead and who isn't? Is Mr. Echo dead? 
<laughs> He's buried, all See, right. What my answer was going to immediately be proved wrong by the exception that if you die on the island, you don't get to reappear on the island. If you die in the outside world, you can reappear on the island. Yeah. But then again, that the whole sucks. Christian thing kind of screws everything up. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I said before, that guy is still doing it. But mm, and then Mikhail, he's dead. But yeah. Claire isn't dead, right? So Claire, I <laughs> okay. She was in a house that blew up. She came stumbling out, hard of hearing, and then she wandered off in the jungle and started acting really strange. Yes, and then we saw her inside the cabin yeah. with her dad. And now, if Kate, yes. <laughs> if Kate's coming back to find her, Kate's still in the 70s, so obviously either Claire yep. is skipping through time and in the 70s, or she's in the 2007s, and they somehow need to do some other time jump to get these two groups back together. Yes, but we haven't seen Claire in three years, even on the island. No, we haven't. Last time we saw her was 2004. What has she been doing for three years while her son is going, growing up? But I feel like from a story perspective, if Kate, if, if the <laughs> only reason Kate's coming back is to find Claire, she can't be dead. She has to be there <laughs> to be found. Otherwise, it's going to end up being like Kate's plot is just not resolved, right? <laughs> We have all the others from 2004 still. We haven't seen anything from them in three years either. Well, they and they're are at, at the temple. Yeah, they're at the temple in 2007. So they're at the temple basically where John and Ben and Son. Did Son yes. go to the temple? Yes, she's standing in the corner. Okay. I was watching what kind of shoes she was wearing because she wasn't having good shoes to go into the jungle when she started her hair trip. <laughs> High yeah. heels, not the way to go. Yeah, just again, like at this point, that you know, nearing the end of season five, they're still adding more mystery. They're they're answering questions, but they're adding more questions. And they are avoiding some of them, and that's the real treat. Because yeah. if you're if you're thinking that the others is the most important thing in season two, in season five you don't even hear a whisper from them, except in seventy seven, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but that has that was way back and hasn't really happened until well, we don't know. And man, your timelines. We need to sit down and talk more about them, I can tell you, because it's no way you can put 77 and 2007 just say, let's mix these two together. No way. And it's going to be 2008 besides that. I'm try yeah, I'm trying to figure out when the swan gets built and I'm trying to figure out like... Is that important? Well, I mean, it's season one, the hatch, like all that everything revolves around the swan and in 77 it's not even built yet which that's true you know so so uh, so unless our lost friends our <laughs> our oceanic friends i should say help build the hatch which is really blowing my mind they must be gone <laughs> from that timeline by the time it gets built um, and get to but it is built before they get gassed. Yeah. Um is it? It is built, yes. I don't even know. <laughs> there has to be people down there doing their stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right, definitely. Yeah, yeah. it's just all so strange. Um <laughs> but I it's, also, it's I, wonderful. It's so wonderful. One thing that I definitely want to see before they wrap up whatever they're doing in the 70s, though, is I want to see a pallet drop of food. Yeah, that would be so nice. I want to see a pallet <laughs> drop of food. So, like, maybe oh. Sawyer maybe Sawyer is the one who schedules the pallet drops in the future, <laughs> knowing that they're going to be there in 30 years. So he oh. ensures that they still keep coming. Yeah, who knows? That's a good one. 
<laughs> or Hurley. Hurley's working in the food yep. kitchen. Yeah, Hurley's always <laughs> working with the food. Oh, so, yeah. So I, I, I really liked these episodes. Yep, and it was awesome, and it gave us a lot of good information and and tied up some of the no, no, uh, knots that we had, especially about how they came on the plane. Now it's only Hurley left. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he can do it whenever he feels like it. He's just taking his guitar, or is it even his guitar? I think it's Charlie's. Charlie's, yeah. Uh, and that's a good touch. Yeah. And he's also taking 76 other <laughs> seats with him. <laughs> and that's also good. Uh, but why he does it, we don't really know. Do we need to know that? I doubt it. Okay. Said, however, was very important. I didn't like the way he was tricked by a lady who he had tricked before, uh, somewhat liked before, because if you remember, one of the first killings he did mm-hmm. was to get a lady in Germany or wherever and take her to the hotel room and they started shooting each other and she dead. Yeah. I mean, he, he's been tricked like that before or tricked himself. Why did he get it this time? Um, I mean, no. Yeah, yeah. basically Jack Kate and Saeed, and to some degree Sawyer, are all in basically like this mirror through the yeah. looking glass version of themselves. Yeah. Experiencing the opposite of what they experienced before, which, yeah. is, which is really weird. So. And when Jack said, no, thank you, I won't do any surgery on that guy, I was thinking, that is so the other side of Jack. And Ed, still, it fits perfectly well with what he has been up to up to this point he's on the island to correct something that he doesn't know of and it has nothing to do with his medical uh, knowledge yeah so it's not his leadership skills it's nothing like that it's something else and every time he decides this you can see he's content he's he's okay with it that was a decision he liked Mm -hmm. mm-hmm mm-hmm Oh, I love these actors. I can say that <laughs> over and over again. Yeah. I mean, I'm reading their faces like a book. Each book is so filled with other stuff. And I know they're filling it while I'm reading. So, <laughs> no near the end. So, we well, have... Can, can we go and see the others now? Yeah. <laughs> so, we have other... three, three more episodes we're going to do next uh, week, which yeah. is 13, 14, 15... Some like it hot, and that means it has to be after one uh, 1981. Uh, which <laughs> some like it hot is is gotta be a Star Wars reference, which yes. makes me always think of Sawyer. Yes, but it still is after 1981 because Hoth wasn't invented until then. Uh, then we have number fourteen, the variable, one of your favorites, right? Well, I liked the one called the constant. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm so I am expecting maybe some Daniel action in this one. Ooh, but like we have forgotten about him, but he's not dead. No, no, I think he. I'm gonna guess he comes back, and like where the constant was, uh, like a positive love story. I worry that the variable is gonna be one of these couples has a tragedy. Okay, it's when they start dropping babies. No, like oh, I've already dropped the baby stuff. That's true. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know, for sure, but I feel like this, yeah, this is gonna be, that's gonna be a bad one. And then we have episode fifteen. Follow the leader, and it's either I suspect John Locke or Sawyer. I don't read. I just read the the title. I don't right. read the rest. <laughs> yeah, no, my gut, my gut would say John, but yeah, I lean towards that as well. I I almost because like when I read Follow the Leader, I get the sense of like a playground game, yeah, and it almost makes me wonder like okay, there's going to be four or five different leaders, and who's the real leader that everyone? Yeah, yeah, but we also from this episode when Alex tells his father, her father, that you should follow Locke. Yeah, that gives me the idea it's follow the Locke leader in this case. Yeah. Yeah, I will we'll see. see. Yeah. Uh, that's it then. That is it. That is it. Thanks for listening, all. All right. See you next Bye. time. Bye.